Welcome to the Change Exchange, where we're discussing rings and cha-ching. When you get married, it's not just your hearts that become one, but also your money. Even if you're one of those financially independent couples where his is his and hers is hers, when you live together, raise children together, and hopefully retire together, there is an inevitable merging of finances. On a really practical day-to-day -day level, you need to figure out how you're going to pay for those shared expenses. Should you have a joint bank account, a household credit card, or just keep a running tab? Some couples may consider a joint bank account. Whilst this may seem the easiest, most practical solution, it can be an administrative nightmare should a spouse die, as there is no such thing actually as a joint account. In South Africa, there is only one option, with a main account holder whose spouse has signing rights. This means that if the main account hold holder dies, the account is frozen along with the money to pay the bills. Some couples work with the running tab. If you decide to keep your finances separate, then you need to have an arrangement as part of your monthly budget as to who covers which expenses. For example, one spouse may pay the rent or mortgage and household insurance, whilst the other pays for groceries and utility bills. This arrangement only really works if you have sat down and worked out a proper budget. You need to know realistically what groceries cost each month and what you expect to pay for electricity and water. It is not uncommon to hear arguments between spouses about expensive food and drink tests. Then there is the household bank account. In many cases, when a couple gets married, they already have their own bank accounts, along with the relationship with their bank and their own credit history. So it makes sense to keep banking the way you did, but then form a household bank account where each spouse deposits funds at the beginning of the month. Finally, you could use a joint credit card, which would save on bank fees. But please, remember to put the money in at the beginning of the month and to keep a low credit facility.